everyone! Welcome back to a new playthrough! And uh, we're going to start a playthrough of Black Mesa. So that's really exciting. I played um, Half-Life Alex before, which was the first Half-Life game I played in the series. Uh, which absolutely blew my mind away! <laughs> I don't think I've ever, ever played a game like that before. So yeah, after that of course I had to play the other Half-Life games as well. And people recommended that the first one I try out is Black Mesa. So that's what we're going to try today, and I'd say let's just jump straight into it. Um, yeah, I guess let's start with chapter one, I'm guessing. <laughs> Seems the most logical to me. But yeah, I don't know much about the other Half-Life games. I do, of course, know a little bit about the series now since I've played Half-Life Alex. Um, so as far as I know, I think we're going to be playing as Gordon Freeman, I think is his name. And in Half-Life Alex, they said that he fought his way uh, through everything with nothing but a crowbar. <laughs> so we're going to see if that's actually the case. I have a feeling that might be a little bit exaggerated. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited to start playing this. I hope it's even the slightest bit like Half-Life Alex. Then, then I'll be more than happy. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. I have a feeling that's not Celsius. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, <laughs> that's not Celsius. <laughs> In event of fire, use hammer to break glass. Okay. I wonder, have people actually done that at some point? Like, oh! Is that supposed to happen? Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know if those loading things are supposed to happen. Let's see what happens throughout the game, but yeah. <laughs> but I'm hoping that Black Mesa is not as scary as Half-Life Alex, because I did not deal well with that. <laughs> Level 3 dormitories, 2, Sector C test labs, and control facilities. Oh, that sounds great. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have okay. not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. I wonder if we're already Gordon Freeman right now. Okay, well, we reached the end. How? How am I? Okay! <laughs> I just want to say, how am I supposed to get off, but. <laughs> oh, that's stunning. Oh, that's really pretty. Very different from Half Life Alex. Oh, we're just continuing. I didn't even see the track. Ooh. Oh, we're just continuing. <gasps> that's so cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, no, I'd rather be outside. <laughs> Let's not go into any creepy caves. <laughs> I'd way rather be outside. Inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, Passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Okay. <laughs> Why are they warning me? <laughs> is is something bad going to happen? Like is a crash going to happen? Woo! Okay, I can jump, but the train is moving. <laughs> I feel like we're really going to get to the top secret stuff, aren't we? We just keep going, and it's starting to look worse and worse. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
What? The rails are not continuing. Are we going in there? Oh, he said hi. Hi. Oh wait, there were no rails, were there? Where on earth are we going? Uh oh. Oh, we're really locked in now. It kind of looks like it looks like a little bit of a big oven, um, but then it also continues. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's not a big oven. Please don't let it be a big oven. <laughs> From the outside, it really did look like that. <laughs> Uh, Subject Warner Freeman, male, age 27. Catalan will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Oh, really? Okay, that's great. <laughs> My fitness is not great. <laughs> My fitness is not good. <laughs> but I'm hoping Gordon Freeman's is assignment. Anomalous materials laboratory? Anomalous materials laboratory, okay. Clearance Do level you have three. A friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of Materials handling. Administer sponsor and classified. Okay. Clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have Disaster response priority discretionary. discretionary. Theoretical physics. <gasps> Sector C, that's what they talked about. Or other high tech disciplines. Please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Oh no, it's Sector E. Sector E, C. Okay, so we're way past Sector C. This is such a cool intro though, this is really really cool. So, as far as I know... Uh, uh, oh, oh, we're going down again. Oh. <laughs> And biohazard I keep training. thinking they're going to kill us. Requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a schedule for analysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials uh, in the course of your duties, contact your radiation oh, it's a top rail. officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. That- oh my god. Uh... Oh no! Uh... Um... Oh! No, 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 let me go back! <laughs> let me go back! <gasps> oh, so now we're in Sector C. Uh... Uh-oh. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. I don't think any of these books are mine. <laughs> day. Um, can I tell the officer about wh what we just saw <laughs> back there? Can I tell him that we should get out of here? Because <laughs> that didn't look good. Looks like you're running late. Okay, so they do know us. I'm guessing you know, we work here Barney's too then. Been pretty scarce around these parts. Barney? Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Present your ID to security officer on duty. Okay. Talk with personnel. Oh, there we go. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. <laughs> okay, thank you. Doesn't have anything else to say? We can talk on my lunch break. Okay. We'll we'll do that. That sounds great. But yeah, I'm wondering. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. We had a ponytail. <laughs> if this is the exact same as Half-Life One, just looking a bit better than it, I'm I'm not sure actually. But I think an anomalous materials. That's where I need to go. Yeah, Doctor Cross. I think Black Mesa is just Half-Life One, right? Just looking a bit better, I think. But you guys can 
hey, can of course Andy, correct me on that. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Um, I think it's a bit more than one of those some days. Problems down in the test chamber too. Mm -hmm. I think that's all straightened out. Mm. He told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard. Really? Seat. Oh no! <laughs> I need to go down there, of course. Of course I do. Can we use this? Get away from there, Freeman. Oh. I'm expecting an important <laughs> message. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> In Half-Life Alex, we didn't see that many uh <laughs> My bad. We didn't see that many people. It was quite rare actually to see people. So it's pretty fun to suddenly oh my god, I wanna talk to them. See so many people. Can I talk to you guys? What are you doing still running around up here? Okay, my bad. I'll continue. Wait, let's see. We have research, development, and personnel. And we need Research and development, I guess? We need anom uh, I have such a hard time pronouncing that. Anomalous material labs. That's it. Can we open this door? No. Hello, Can Gordon. Talk to him? Oh, yeah. No. Okay, never mind. I think we just need to continue. Can we run? I don't think so. Shift doesn't seem to be running. Can we crouch? Oh, we can crouch. Oop. Good morning, there Dr. Freeman. Oh, our doctor. Okay. System seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? <laughs> I've already made plans. What? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> you can always attend the next convention. <laughs> Poor guy. Where am I supposed to go? You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. Periodic table of elements in the back. Uh, I guess we can follow blue, right? Oh, they're working on replication? That's cool. Where, I don't... Did I miss where am I supposed to go? Risk management level. Strategic? Technical. In-depth, something time critical. Mission and task success. Okay. Oh, they're right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders. Oh, yeah, we need our hazard suit. That's hazard it. Suit on. Okay, my bad. Thank you. Where do I get my hazard suit? Maybe in personnel? Would that make sense? So that's the green line, I think. Personnel's the green line. I need clear, clearer directions, guys. I need like arrows pointing me exactly where to go. Please and thank you. <laughs> Morning, champ. Hi. Hello. Hi. But I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Authorized personnel only. That's not us, probably. Oh! oh! Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> that scared me. Um, uh, Jenner. Do we see our name somewhere? Freeman. Oh, we have Truman. I just watched that movie a few days ago, the, the Truman Show. I know it's really old, but I had never seen it before. Rose. Oh, Freeman. There you go. Oh. What's this? Just a little light? Is that our daughter? Do we have a daughter? Hmm. Can we... Is this not our... Hazmat suit? No. Oh. Okay. Can we open everyone else's lockers as well? No, you could only open ours. Rat. No toilet paper. <laughs> can we help him? Pick up objects. Throw <laughs> We can. Mouse one is throw objects. Mouse two. Hello. Could somebody get me some? Oh, thank heavens! <laughs> I'm in love. Some toilet paper. Brownie in motion. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, I'm just a good summer, sem, 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 Samaritan? Is it Samaritan? Like that? Okay, here's our suits. You know, I just help wherever I can. Charger ready, charger empty. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to get this suit. Oh, I think I've seen an image of Gordon Freeman in this orange suit. Was that in... Half-Life Alex at the end, was he wearing his orange suit? I feel like he might have been. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. 
for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's some really cool music. Communication. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. So I'm guessing we have a helmet on as well, right? Since we can suddenly see our bars like we have 100 plus, whatever that might mean. Maybe our health? And zero something? Although that kind of looks like health as well, but I can't imagine we have zero health. <laughs> Wait, but so... There's one way we didn't go, which is this way, so I kind of want to... Wait, I can... I can sprint now, kind of. It does make a... It does make a sound when I try to run. Can we get into any of these rooms? Probably not the ones that are locked, but maybe... Oh, yeah. <gasps> We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I Do you even have two of these? The <laughs> convention yet. Yes. Soon we will drive our enemies before you <laughs> and hear the lamentations of their women. Excuse me? <laughs> Fare thee well, travelers. <laughs> Nerds. I love it. <laughs> oh, we can go here as well. This is not the same dude that we saw before. Popsicle orange really brings out your eyes. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't... Is this where we need days? to be? Yeah, this is still the wrong airline. Okay. No. Thank you. Yeah, so we can clearly run now. Let's see. Where are we? Are we running? We're almost gliding. Oh, the network servers are unresponsive. Just wanna. There ain't I don't wanna much miss do anything. There isn't much he can do. You are here Period. in the test chamber. <gasps> Everybody, get out your slates <laughs> and chalk. Oh, that's a good bird. Oh. <laughs> Gordon, we can handle everything up here. They need you down in the test chamber. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I'm just exploring. I'm just exploring. Everything is under control, Gordon. Okay. <laughs> test review. Okay, test review. It's just a test. Okay. <laughs> So they don't appreciate me poking around everywhere. Understandable, understandable. <laughs> so we went everywhere, I think. Right I think we explored through, everything. Yep. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Leadership. The Black Mesa Research Facility is a worldwide leader in the field of fluid dynamics. Okay. This one is locked. Innovative. Our tram system is really cool. <laughs> Our tram system is really cool. That's a great slogan. I, I highly agree, though. It's really cool. There was a guy here. Let's see if he has anything to say. No? They all kind of look the same. Black Mesa. Located in the scenic... Oh! Excuse me. Located in the scenic Black Mesa Desert, Black Mesa Research Facility is situated on 2,000 square miles of land. And something something. When it comes to protecting science, this guy is on our side. Security force. I mean, he looks like an okay, like an okay guy, right? I have a feeling like Mesa might be the bad guys. <laughs> oh, and now loading screen. In the middle of a of a conversation, <laughs> but yeah, I'm. We don't have any weapons yet, so I'm guessing the 100 might be our health, and the zero. Oh, the zero is suddenly not red anymore. I was thinking the zero might be uh, ammo, maybe. I don't know. Go up here, or maybe not. I don't know. We would die then. Hi. 
Give me some space, Freeman. Oh. Now where did okay. I leave that? Not a good day. Procedure chart. I'm sure we'll show it sooner or later. Uh, sooner or later. Can we find a crowbar in here? <laughs> we need to find our crowbar somewhere, right? Should harness remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Oh my god, Double their check voices. the Brewster's plates angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. <laughs> Security up, clearance Doc? level three, but we had until level three, right? So we're we're good. Like Mesa Research Facility. Can we open these? Hello, Dr. Freeman. Hi. They're all so well most of them are so kind. Always greeting me. Okay. Wow, we really need to Golden walk Freeman. a long way. Imagine having to do this every day when you want to get to work. Holy moly. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just <laughs> sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti mass I swear, it'll look the same. To <laughs> Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Burr. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. <laughs> they all have such like posh accents. <laughs> chamber. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations. For oh, the Eli! New Is that Eli Vance? Are we talking about Eli Vance? Greetings, Eli. Good morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Kind of looks like him, yeah. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. The voice These is different, of course, changes. but... They're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, uh. It's about to go critical. Uh. Eli? Well, you know Eli what will survive. What blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Okay, are you sure? <laughs> mm. Run along where though? Oh, there you go. It's not that clear to me what we can interact with and what we can't, but I guess it's just a matter of trying. Oh, cool! <gasps> it's a rotating elevator! Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. And yeah, maybe because there was this whole green pool somewhere just laying around. This is far. What the hell does PC low better mean? Test lab? I think we need to go to the test lab, probably. I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, <laughs> you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this button. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. I mean, Again. it sounds like nice work, Come though. You're Pushing buttons is great. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. <laughs> don't kid yourself. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> well, hello. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Hombre. Thank you. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially okay. the most unstable. Now, Great. As long as we follow standard <laughs> insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't hmm. know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. <laughs> I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We will uh -huh. show the administration that job. nothing will go wrong. Mm. Absolutely yes. not. I'm You're sure right. we'll be fine. Gordon, we have complete confidence. Well, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't put it all on me. Is it sure gonna be my not. fault? Something is gonna go wrong. For sure. Oh god. Don't want to give me a weapon, just in case? Hmm. Okay, are you sure about this? Hmm. What am I even supposed to do? Go in here? No. Oh. 
Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Mount, dismount ladder. Oh, Alternate mount. Gordon, Walk into your suit that? should keep you comfortable through all this. The it's specimen will much. be delivered to you in a few moments. Now. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay. Start the rotors, I guess? Until the specimen arrives. Is it gonna be an alien? Oh wait, they're up there, look. Very good. We'll take it from here. Powered to stage here? one emitters in three, two, one. Oh, you saw this I'm in other places as well. Stage two emitters activating now. Is the platform uh, supposed Gordon, to be shaky? We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please work as quickly as you can. Oh. Well, we know what what our health is now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no, it's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. Okay, what am I supposed to do? We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Here? Is this the delivery system? This box? Uh, I don't know, this all seems very fishy. Okay, Standard do I... insertion for non-standard specimen. Okay! Consequences. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I think that was our first episode <laughs> of this Let's Play series. Um, this is starting very intensely. <laughs> I feel like this is not my fault. I feel like I warned them. So yeah, I am. I am in the clear here, obviously. <laughs> and um, yeah. We will continue this next episode and see see where, where this is gonna go. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!